When US swimmer Leah Thomas won a national college title this year, it was seen by some as a beacon of inclusion, but by others as deeply unfair. The trans woman has said she wants to compete in the Olympics. Thank you, uh, my dear friends and colleagues. But under new rules adopted by FINA, the organization governing international swimming, that will not be possible. It is a policy that we need to introduce in order to protect the competitive fairness of our, of our event. FINA says that anyone born male who wants to compete as a woman must exhibit low or suppressed levels of testosterone, a rule already in place in many sports. But in addition, the athletes must have transitioned before the onset of puberty or the age of 12, whichever is later. The only other sport to add the puberty rule has been rugby. Professor Ross Tucker consulted on that implementation. Most of the biology that differs between males and females is very minimally affected when you lower the testosterone. They're not worried about testosterone. They're worried about has that person had male biological puberty and have they had the benefits. Swimming Canada's CEO says he welcomes the clarity of the rules, but his organization will only implement them in races where Canadian athletes could qualify for international events. Its domestic policy still allows athletes to register under the gender of their choice. FINA also says it aims to add an open category for trans athletes, although it hasn't said when and how that would work. That's not inclusive. <laughs> that doesn't include them because it others trans people when, you know, trans women are women and trans men are men. Canadian LGBTQ plus rights groups have called the new rules draconian, discriminatory and unscientific. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.